In this problem, we're going to verify the logical equivalence. So we'll start by writing down the more complicated side. We're going to do this using the properties or the laws of logic. So solution. So we'll start by the more complicated side, which is the left-hand side. So this is P and, not Q, or P. And we have to show um, that this is the same as P. So to do this, um, I'd like to use something called the absorption law. But before we do that, typically we have to have um, the P on the left-hand side. So what we can do is we can switch these and write this as P or P and, not Q. And this is by something called the commutative law or commutative property. I'll just say commutative law. And as a refresher, the commutative law says if you have P or Q, this is the same as Q or P. Okay, now we're going to use uh, something called the absorption law. And that will basically say that this is equal to P. And this is by the absorption law. Absorb, so let's spell it right, absorption law, to P. And the absorption law says that it basically it gets absorbed. The, the not Q gets absorbed. It's a way to think about it. So it's P or P and Q is the same thing as P. And, and this should make sense. Let's kind of apply it and try to reason it in our problem. We have P or P and not Q. So if you just look at P or not Q, so for P or not Q to be true, both P and not Q have to be true. In particular, P is true. So this is really P or P, which is just P. So uh, it all follows by the absorption law. I hope this video has been helpful.